Hi, I wanted to post a quick video about the Copilot bike trailer. I did not see anything else on YouTube on this brand. And I googled it, you know, as you do. So I thought, well, maybe I'll post one. And for some reason, I do have three wheels. So it came with a spare, a flag, the, I guess, stroller uh, bar that you can take on or off. And I'll put the cover on real quick. This thing looks like it was never used. But I think it's been in storage for a while. The wheels um, are quick release, which is nice. pop them in and out and just a little button down here there you go pretty cool just push the button and pop it off Here's the flag look at it with the cover on plastic part can roll up and then roll it up and then velcro it up here There's a shot with the stroller handle and there's the folded up and the quick release tires and the way it folds up make it a pretty easy breakdown and storage and I'd probably say that's one of the strongest point points on this trailer that's easier than the other one I had that had the Schwinn it was a little harder to get the wheels on and off of it and store it and it does have a little thing here so when you put it away you fold this up and then you actually it has like an extra place to put the little quick release that holds it shut which is great because um, it won't flop around on you and it has another one here so you fold this um, tow bar back and it actually lock, has a separate hole here to lock it back so when you're you know now you can carry it around and it's not like flopping around on you so I would say that uh, the breakdown is it's pretty cool the way they designed this. All right. Okay, just a few last things. So you got a thing here. You could put a light there. Um, it does have like these things when they when you unfold it, it seems like it's ready to go, but then there's like some extra locking pins that are just to keep it sturdy. I noticed, I mentioned earlier, it's got a couple reflectors on it. I mentioned earlier about this Velcro part. It does have a second strap here that goes through this loop and that should keep the back part from just coming undone when you didn't want it to. Here's the brake uh, it's called. It's got a little velcro to secure it. So you can unhook it. If you're parked on a hill you just loop this through the wheel like so. So here's the one thing about this trailer, and I'll show you how this works. This is the safety strap that is the backup system in case the hitch fails. Now this, I bought this and I didn't have the trailer hitch, so I made one out of a 1 and 5 30 seconds, uh, this actually is like a shower head socket. So if you're out there and you need a trailer hitch, this is one way uh, you could make one. It basically is working good as it's made out of galvanized steel, I believe. It's working. And there you go. I had to kind of just hacksaw it up and modify it and I think it's working really well. And like I said, if for some reason this failed, um, you have the other strap 
to, uh, you know, as a backup. So you just stick this part in here and then the pin goes through and locks it together. Like so. And then this part, you can wrap it around this part of your bike. I'm wrap, kind of wrapping it around an extra time around this part because it seems a little like it's got some play in it. Wrap it around and then clip it in. And I think if you wanted to, you could uh, tow it around flat like this. Um, you could probably mod it into a cargo trailer pretty easily. It would tow like this. Or you could take some of those, you know, you could take the kid carrier off and you've basically got a flatbed.